I had to accomplish all these new goals. Um, you know, and we're pressured to get married. We have to be the ones that earn most money and, you know, pay for all these things. And if you're not the type of guy who wants to settle down, etc., you're a dirtbag and a cheat and all this sort of shit that comes with it, all this negative stigma. But I'm telling you guys, I've done both versions. And when you're young and you want time, sorry, when you're young and you want to be successful, the best thing you can do, stay single, invest all of that time, all of that money, all of that mental strength and be selfish and put that into you while you still can. Because when you get older, you know, when it's the right time to have these things, guess what? You'll wish you did it when you were younger. Now, I said at the start, there's one exception and there really is. Not all women are bad, right? The majority of them aren't, but they all have different traits. Now and again, you will come across one woman who wants the best for you in every single scenario. And she gets the entrepreneurial thing. She gets that, you know, maybe her dreams will have to take a backseat or maybe she's on the same road, same path as you are, you know. And if you don't succeed, if things don't go right for you, she's, as ups- she's more upset than you are. You know, if you find a woman like that who understands that you might have to work 16 hours a day and she's only going to see you um, late on a Saturday night and late on a Sunday, then guess what, guys? Sometimes having a woman like that on your shoulder can be just as powerful, if not more powerful, than all of the things I've spoken about on this podcast already. So can this be considered a podcast? I think they're just short snippets, aren't they? We're going to do podcasts in the future, so I don't want to get them confused. Um, But yeah, if you can find a woman like that, guys, honestly, it's fantastic. It's probably the strongest thing that you can have in your life. And anybody, I know it's cliche to say, but behind every man is a strong woman, etc. Right? But you ask any guy who has got a solid woman behind him, it's so easy. It is so easy having somebody that can believe in you, you know. Um, I don't know if anybody's a UFC fan, but Dustin Poirier, the guy who actually lost to Khabib, his story was inspirational, you know. His, his He wanted to quit and his wife kept him in there, kept him going. And he probably, he just fought for the title, which is something he couldn't have dreamed of um, a couple of years ago. So she was a huge inspiration for him then. Um, you know, and if she wasn't around, he would have quit. So he wouldn't have been as successful as he was. So that's the one exception. But those sort of women are rare to come by and, you know, most guys are trying to hold them down. So if if I was, if I, if I could go back to being 21 or around that age now, and bearing in mind I'm only 27, um, but if I could go back six years, which is a huge amount of time in a business sense, then I would 100% stay single for that entire period. I'd give up weekends. Um, I still do, to be honest. Um, I'd give up all that money for going on dates, night, nights out with the boys, getting drunk, etc. I would put every single penny, every single hour, every single mental thought, and I'd be the most selfish guy on the planet. And I would just put it all into my dream. And I'd just be patient. I'd just sit there and be patient, enjoy the ride, enjoy the journey. And I guarantee you, you'll feel like shit for the first couple of years, but you get to the kind of age I am now and it starts paying off. Because as I've said before, men peak as they get older. So you might as well work towards that peak and make the most of it. Then, you know, play all your cards too soon. And you get to your mid-30s and you're kind of burnt out, you're out of shape, you're broken. You know, you might have kids and a mortgage and it's, it's not too late, but it's a lot harder. It's a much larger, much steeper uphill climb. So that's the talk for today, guys. Um, I hope you're enjoying this consistent.